Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Star Wars Artifacts Plus AT-AT driver from Kotobukiya. Kotobukiya has given us so many great statues in their Star Wars Artifacts Plus line, and one of the things they've done really well is troop building. So here we have yet another troop of the Empire in the AT-AT driver. So let's check him out. As you can see, he comes in the standard fully enclosed Star Wars box. It's got that all black look to it with the Star Wars logo and an image of the AT-AT driver right there on the front. When you rotate that around to the backside, we get another look at the statue as well as a description and some of the different ways we can display this statue. Now, upon opening up the box, you'll notice that there are multiple pieces and you do have to put them together. There's a simple sheet of instructions that will guide you through the process, but I'm also going to show you how to put all of the pieces on right here. So as you can see, we've got our driver, uh, just his body and his head already attached. We basically have to attach the feet and then all the arms ourselves. Now, the cool thing about this is it's just a peg system and the pegs are designed so that they only fit the correct part. So you can't mess up when putting on the feet here and you just got to give it a nice firm push. You can see it's a nice tight fit, which is good. Once you get those feet assembled, you're not going to have to worry about taking them off again, which uh, is good. You're not going to need to really interchange the feet at all. So we get those on there and it's nice and locked in place. Then we come to the part of the arms. Now, there are three different pairs of arms on this guy, which is really cool because that means there are three different ways we can display him. So I'll go ahead and start with just one pair here. And again, we've got the one peg hole on each side that are unique. So we give a nice firm push. We can lock it in place there. There we go. We got the left arm in place and now we'll get his right arm in place. Just like so. And there we go. So you can see it's a really uh, tight fit, but still uh, has the ability to pop out of place in case you want to put on any of the other arms, um, which are very cool, very unique. You can see you got a pair of arms here that fit together. You'll plug it in and then attach uh, into the glove. So you've got this really great pose with him pulling on the glove. And then, of course, we have poses which are great for his included blaster. So I'll show you some of those poses in just a bit. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at our statue. Now, the at, -AT driver, or I guess the ADAT -AT driver, however you say it. I've always said at, -AT, but we'll go with ADAT -AT driver here. Um, you can see he does come with the square black display base, which we've seen with the other Star Wars Kotobukiya statues. Uh, the bottom of the statue has the embedded magnets, so that way he clings to the base, just like so. It's a nice hold, and that way you can pose him anywhere you want to on that base. So that way, instead of having pegs, if you've got a bunch of these bases lined up, it's going to be really good for kind of overlapping the statues on the bases, keeping them standing on your shelf, but that way you can display them side by side if you want to. So these statues are in the one tenth scale. So if we bring in the tape measure, you can see that puts them right at about seven inches tall. And the details are really great. Kotobukiya is well known for their great sculpts and the great paint decos that bring out the awesome sculpting. So you can see we got these great uh, boots here. He's got the very kind of snow boots thing going on. You know, they drove the Adats right there on the planet Hoth trying to attack the rebel base. So you can see uh, we got the great kind of snow suit, but still has like the very uh, cool pilot straps and everything on there. And as we get up to the top, we've got the more armored pieces with the great little uh, breathing apparatus piece right here in the front with the tubes that attach to the helmet. Now, this is one part that I really like because if you notice, all of the armor bits have this really great gloss to them while the cloth parts of his outfit underneath are more of a matte finish. This is great. It really makes the armor, especially on the chest and the helmet there, stand out as looking like the um, plasticky armor pieces that the stormtroopers were wearing. It has a really nice shine to it. Uh, and all the colors on here are bright and vibrant. You can see great uh, silvers and reds. I love the details on the, uh, the control panel right here on the front. We get a good close look at it here. Check that out. Look at all those great details sculpted on there. Um, you know, some nice reds, great yellows, bright colors, some nice set on black there. Just looks really, really cool. And then that helmet is fantastic. The it's the unique uh, helmet that the ADAT drivers wore there. And you can see we got the Empire symbol right there on the top. Uh, I love the hoses and everything, as I said, coming off of there. Uh, just a really cool, very unique look. Uh, and everything just turned out so great. Rotating around to the backside again. Uh, that's where the hoses plug in right there. Uh, and even more really great details on the back of his armor. So 
The paint deco and the sculpt, fantastic on this guy. I mean, he really stands out and looks very, very special. So the pose that we've got him in here uh, to start off is this really cool kind of standing at attention pose. So you can see he's got his arms uh, back behind him, folded behind him with the fists clenched there. So really great pose, especially if you're able to get a bunch of these guys lined up. I can imagine that would look really cool, having them all lined up, standing at attention. But of course, we can swap out these parts as well. So let's go ahead and do that here just to see some of the other poses. Uh, all we got to do is kind of pop the pieces off just like so. See, it's very tight fit, so it might take a little bit of wiggling there to pull it off, but here we go. We will pop in the next pair of arms here. And uh, this is going to be our set of arms for holding onto the included blaster. So you probably will want to actually attach the blaster before getting the arms all the way on. Uh, it might make it a little bit easier there. So there we go. You can see the blaster slides right in place just like that. And then the second arm... We're going to slide into socket here, and this one will be holding on to the bottom of the blaster once we get it into place. And just like that, we've changed up the display for our AT-AT driver. So you can see now he's holding on to that classic Stormtrooper blaster there. Great two-handed pose. Um, and this is really cool because this is going to allow you the different ways to display him if you want to. But at the same time, if you've got multiples of these guys, you'll be able to make them all look slightly different from each other if you want to. They won't be all the same. So that is very, very nice. Uh, one last pose is pretty cool looking, so let's go ahead and again swap out the arms so we can check out this third option for display. Now, I love this pose. This one is very, very unique. Uh, this is a great pose where our AT, at driver is pulling on his glove on his left arm there. Uh, just makes for a really, really cool display piece. As if he's preparing himself to climb up into that AT, at ready for the attack on the Rebel base on Hoth. Just a really cool, really unique way to display this guy. And again, I love the interchangeable parts because if you end up with multiples of these guys, it'll be really cool to have different drivers all sitting next to each other all doing different poses or again you can even have them all standing at attention great looking army to build up on your shelf and that's one thing that Kotobukiya has always done really well especially with these troop builders so there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Star Wars Artifacts Plus AT, at driver from Kotobukiya. Special thanks to Kotobukiya for sending this along so we can get a good look at it outside of the packaging. For more information on Kotobukiya and their products, be sure to check them out online at www.kotous.com and give them a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash Kotobukiya. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for even more reviews. Until next time, my friends.